We've been looking at approaches to reading instruction, Andy Johnson, by the way, Minnesota State University, and we are looking at the fourth one, the language experience approach. This is ideal for students at the emergent level or for struggling readers. We use it a lot at the Capstone Literacy Center. Here's an example of a teacher doing a language experience approach done a variety of ways. And they, she is asking students about something they have experienced. Students are telling her and she is dictating or writing it down. This then becomes the basis of literacy instruction. They use this to practice reading. The goal is, again, you have a shared experience. You can do this with the whole class. I generally do this with my students when I'm tutoring one-on-one. -on -one. They tell me what they have done. Billy, what have you done this week? And as they tell me, I'm writing it down and they can see the words appearing on the screen. All right. And I sound out the words, I w -w went, and they can see the words appearing. We practice reading then using words and concepts from their experience. All right, let's read this through together. We read it through. I provide scaffolded oral reading, and then they read it through by themselves until they can read it fluently. This enables me as a teacher or tutor to make some very personal connections, find out about what's going on in his or her life, and it becomes the basis of reading instruction. And by the way, when I finish reading something, then I say, well, is there a, a b, b word in this sentence? So they go, balloon, very good. It's a very simple way to have some incidental phonics instruction. It is a very valuable tool to use with emergent readers. I use it with my struggling readers. Uh, they could be first through sixth grade who are reading at the first or second or even third grade level. Uh, because it enables them to be successful and practice reading in a way that they will not feel frustrated. Uh, you can use choral and echo reading with that, and here's an example of each. Choral reading is when you read something through together. Boys and girls, let's read this through together. Ma ji vi de runt stalem, vi de runt stalem. All right, so you're providing just a bit of a scaffold as you read this through together. And again, this is done on a large group or on an individual basis. When I'm working with students one-on-one -on -one again, called scaffolded oral reading, we do this so that they do not have to fish around so that they'll be successful. We do not want to frustrate. And the other one is echo reading, just like it sounds. Read a sentence, they echo it back. Maji vi deirun stalem, vi deirun stalem. And they read it back. Maji vi deirun stalem. All right. They're practicing reading words and concepts within their experience. And I'm providing a scaffold that enables them to be successful doing this. Choral reading, you read along with the teacher. You provide structure. Echo reading, repeat what the teacher has read one sentence at a time. You can do this with big books, posters, sentences. I like to use it when I'm tutoring one-on-one. -on -one. We create a journal of sorts uh, using a word processor and use it with the language experience approach.